Now, in this video, and I don't know how long it's going to be, we're going to be looking at how to connect a Wi-Fi dongle for the Give Energy inverters. So these are for the dongles that start their serial number with a WE, WF, or indeed a WO. So there is a guide which can be found at this address here, which I shall include in the link. Now, once you've got your dongle connected into the inverter, uh, it will start flashing, which means that it's powered up, but it's not connected. Now, the inference is that it's not connected to anything, but depending on how far you are in this process, um, it could be connected to your local Wi-Fi, but not connected to the Give Energy servers, at which point it will still flash. So we'll go through the whole thing and uh, hopefully show you uh, what's going on. Okay, so at the moment I am connected Wi-Fi using my shed, my own Wi-Fi, but there is another Wi-Fi available with the dongle that's connected to my inverter. Now to be able to change any settings for the dongle you need to connect to the dongle Wi-Fi. This is not to change settings in the inverter which we'll get to in a minute. This is to change uh, how the dongle connects to your Wi-Fi and then onto the internet. So if I change this to connecting to my Wi-Fi dongle and then it comes up with all sorts of warnings that I'm no longer connected to my uh, local network etc. So to look at the settings for the dongle we need to connect to a URL 10100254 and then it asks me for a password. Now to start off with in the settings in the manual it will be admin admin but depends on which stage you've gone you enter your username and password so this is the default um, page and if we are indeed following the instructions on step three it says that you need to select SDA mode and transparent mode and then click apply. It should tell you set successfully restart to use new setting. We are not going to restart just yet. Okay so now we need to tell the dongle to connect to my local Wi-Fi and the way we do that is we go to STA interface setting and according to the instructions on step 4 we can do a search and hopefully it should come up with a list of Wi-Fi um, access points that are available in this location. Not sure why it's taking this long because it should at least find my local Wi-Fi. There we go. And then we just select whichever one you wish and uh, hit apply. So I'm going to select the one that I have and now it says you need to put in the password for that Wi-Fi. So we will I will put that in and then we'll continue on. And then we want to click apply. So that now says set successfully. If you want to restart 
you can do that from device management device management and there's password and then we go to restart so if your dongle is still flashing after you've told it to connect to your local Wi-Fi uh, how can you test that it's actually connected to your local Wi-Fi and the flashing is not caused by um, lack of connection to give energy servers so the way to test for that is that you come into another browser and you should be able to connect to the web and browse as normal so you are I'm still connected so if we look at my Wi-Fi connection down here I'm still connected to the dongle and then the dongle is connected to my Wi-Fi so it's a two-step thing all right so and then I should be able to browse the internet like this go to iPlayer BBC4 which I very rarely do on the iPlayer so this is all live so that's good so now you know that if the dongle is still flashing it's waiting for a connection to um, the give energy servers now if I want to um, change settings in the inverter as opposed to the dongle so we finished with the dongle we're now going into the inverter you log into the give energy cloud and there we go so this is telling me it's giving me all my information about the dashboard etc so that is the web interface for the inverter not the dongle all right so once you've once the dongle has got access to the local internet um, it should be able to communicate and then you should be able to connect to the um, inverter through any connected device and through any Wi-Fi or Ethernet connection so if I go back to the shared connection so we're now connected to the shared then if we do uh, can control R here for a reload so it manages to reload the dashboard okay but if we go to the dongle URL and do a control R there it'll take quite a while before it times out